everyone. So today is 31st of August and it is Hari Madeka. And it's also the first day of the Madeka Readathon hosted by the Untitled Book Club. So the Readathon will be running from 31st of August, which is Hari Madeka, to 16th of September, which is Hari Malaysia. If you guys are wondering what's the difference, so Hari Madeka is the independence of Peninsular Malaysia and is known as Malaya during that period of time. And then later on, um, East Malaysia, which is Sabah and Sarawak, also got their independence and together we formed Malaysia itself. So throughout this real time, I'll be reading two books about Malaysia. So the first one is Billion Dollar View. And this book is basically about the role of Jolo in the 1MDB scandal, which is a huge scandal involving corruption and man money laundering of the Malaysian government. I really wanted to read and learn more about this issue, so that's why I got it. And then the second book that I got here is The Gift of Rain. So this book, I actually borrowed it from Leona. And thank you so much for lending this to me. And I will be also body reading this with Jazz from Unloved Chapters. So I don't really know what this book is about. I just know that Leona and some other Malaysian bookstagrammer really love this book. So I'm giving this a chance. I don't really like the movie for the Garden of the Evening Mings, but a lot of people seem to prefer this more, so I hope I will enjoy this too. So these are the two books that I've been reading for the Medica Readathon, and let's go! So in this special day, my mom made laksang for us. So first they put in the room silly noodles, then put in the cucumber, the garlic, pineapple, rescue leaf, and lastly, the broth, which is cooked with a lot of spices and fish. Hi, so today is day 3 of the readathon, and I haven't been reading anything for the past 2 days because I have been watching Chinese drama <laughs> so I'm just going to set aside one hour to read Billion Dollar View and I hope to read at least 50 pages of it. So let's start reading right now. <laughs> So right now it's already 2 a.m. in the midnight and I finished another 58 pages of Billion Dollar View. So I'm right now in page 119 and this whole scam just involved so many people in it. It was just like a worldwide scam. So in short, um, Jolo gets to know this bunch of Saudi royals through one of his college friends and he tried to like connect the Saudi royal with the Malaysian government together. So what he did is that he asked the Saudi royals to invest in a project called the Iskandar project. So obviously Malaysian government was very happy because they get a huge investor and then later on both of them also get a lot of profit. And then later on, um, the Saudi government plan, not the Saudi, the Saudi royals plan to form a company called Petro Saudi International and they, and Jolo act as a middleman to ask uh, the Malaysian government to fund this project. So obviously um, Najib was very happy to fund it because the previous Iskandar project, um, both of them got a lot of profit. So they fund it and they fund uh, for 1 billion. However, um, this fund was not actually went into any project, it's actually went into the private account of Jolo. So he's, he was just living a very luxurious life with this 1 billion ringgit. Obviously, he also gave some to the Petro Saudi people and also other people that helped him with this scam. And then later on, he decided to invest some of this money in some of the America uh, hotel, mansions and houses, so he buy a few of them and then he see the market and so he, later on 
he also thought of this um, building the relationship between the U.S. government with the Malaysian government. So he arranged them, um, Obama, President Obama, to meet with Prime Minister Najib. And so this is where page 118 stops. This is very, very brief synopsis, otherwise it will be very, very long, this video. And basically, there's so many people involved in it, and it's very, very hard to read. I got, like, very, very tired and I lost interest when I would have, like, read for, like, 15 minutes. Um, I read it more later and update with you guys. So today is day 5 of the readathon, and I'm just going to try to cook nasi lemak. To be honest, I haven't been eating nasi lemak for months, I think since the start of the lockdown, which is like since February, because I usually have nasi lemak uh, when I'm in my university, and I'm right now always at home, and I eat my mom home-cooked food, so we are just going to cook it to satisfy my craving. <laughs> hey guys, so today is day 6 of the readathon and it is the weekend and my brother from Outstation is coming back so I might not have the time to read a lot because we are having family gatherings but I want to squeeze in some page of the gift of rain because technically um, today is the start of my body read with Jess from Atlas chapter so I'll try to read a few of these and I will put on hold billion dollar view because it's very very hard to read and I just want to take a break from it for right now and I'll update with you guys with my reading progress later. <laughs> we decided to go for a hike at the Penang Hill. There are actually several routes that you can take. We took the second route and the irony is that later when I came home and started reading The Gift of Rain, the main character Phillips also often went for a hike at the Penang Hill because his family owns a huge bungalow at the top of the hill. It just enhanced my reading experience a lot because I could picture everything very clearly in my mind and I sincerely really enjoy this book a lot. So it's 13 of September and it's day 14 of the Merdeka Readathon. I haven't been updating my reading progress for almost a week, so if you guys are wondering, I get a new pair of glasses. And I'm currently 350 pages in The Gift of Rain. I really really enjoyed it <laughs> a lot, even though like the plot and the characters wasn't that good. Like the story was very very slow paced. Like, even I read 300 pages in, it's almost like 60%. There isn't a lot of things happen in it, and the main character can be a little bit annoying at times, but the historical aspect in the book is just so good. Like, it talks a lot about like Ping Nan history, Malaysian history, and also a mix of a little bit of China and Japan history in this. I just really, really love those aspects in this book, and I felt like I learned a lot from it particularly about the Penang history because personally I am a Penang Knight and I'm able to like picture what happened throughout the whole, whole book like what happened to the city, to the Penang queue and then the ferry and all those things it just hits me very deeply so I really really love it so far I will be reading it tomorrow and I'll be going out for a retreat so 
I'll be bringing this along and I hope to read perhaps another 50 pages of it and I'll update you guys again. Guys, so today is 16th of September and it's the last day of the recon and it's midnight 1am and I'm crying and you can see like there are tears around because I am in the final part of the book um, there's another perhaps 30 pages of it and it hurts me a lot like what happened to Philip and his family it's just so unfair and like you can feel like how the suffer and struggles of Malaysians during the era. <laughs> I'll be finishing it tonight and I'll make a wrap up tomorrow. Yeah. Hi everyone. So today is 16th of September and it is Hari Malaysia and it's also the last day of the Medica Readathon. So I decided to make like a wrap up video for it. Uh, even though it's afternoon right now, but I will not be reading anything more. So I wanted to do a wrap up. So the first book, Billion Dollar View, uh, is a nonfiction, and it is about Zhou Dao, which is a Malaysian Chinese. How he is able to like scam, particularly the Malaysian government, billions of ringgit for his like high end lifestyle and also his investment overseas. In this book, he you just learn a lot of people that is involved in it, and then how he cheated his way through different financial institutions throughout the world. The problem I have with this book is that it has a lot of financial term, and I'm not a person that was interested in this kind of stuff, but I really want to finish it because I found this really really intriguing, and of course learn more about like what happened to our government and about in this 1MDB scanner, so I will continue it, but I'm not sure when I will be able to finish this because it is a tough read for me, definitely. And then the next book that I got here is The Gift of Rain by Tan Tuan Ng. I'm very surprised of how much I enjoy this because I didn't have high hope for this, to be honest. Um, So this book is about a boy called Philip Hutton, and he is a mix of Malaysian Chinese during this 1933. So this is when Malaysians start to get colonized by the Japanese. So he met a sensei called Endo. And so this is about the relationship between he and the Japanese sensei and how people view him and the Japanese person, particularly uh, during this period of time, because a lot of Malaysians just hate the Japanese and I can understand it because Japanese treated Malaysian like crap. so yeah and so you just learn a lot about like Malaysian history what Japanese did towards Malaysians the problem that I have with this book is that I felt the element of like Chinese and Buddhism about like the cycle of life and also the Qigong which is like a Chinese culture that they believe that every human being have energy surrounding them so if you practice it you can just feel like the positive or negative energy that this person have. So it emphasizes a lot uh, these two elements in this book and I felt really false. Like some part I felt like it didn't need to be mentioned but the author just keep on mentioning it and it's just very funny and weird. It didn't really work well with me and it also talks about like how Mr. Endo met Philip is because of the circle of life. They met somewhere in the last life and then they met again this life and they'll keep on meeting up in the future in the next life it's just very weird i don't know how i felt about those stuff but other than that um the historical aspect of it just hits me hard and i also saw if you watched my last vlog yesterday i 
just felt emotionally for the people. So I am not a person that read a lot of Malaysian literature. I think the only book that I read previously is The Weight of Our Sky by Hannah Alcalf. And I never read anything else already. So I'm very proud of myself to pick these two up. And I'm definitely interested to pick up more Malaysian literature in the future. If you guys have any recommendations, just uh, comment down below. I definitely want to find for more Malaysian literature. And yeah, this is my wrap up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, thanks for watching. Dunia. Satu malam, uh, 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 u